I am in Ferdos Square in Baghdad, Iraq. This is where they brought down Saddam Hussein's statue almost 20 years ago. That is the Ramadan 17 Mosque. And if there's one thing that uh, I have noticed on my return visit to Iraq is that it's getting pretty nice here. Not only here, but everywhere else. That over there is the Baghdad Le Meridien. And over here is the Ishtar Sheraton, the Baghdad Sheraton. We're in a very central location here. That guy's saying what's up. And so we're gonna jump in a cab here and uh, go visit some old sites that I have posted before. Let's see how people are doing over there. One more look here at Ferdo Square. I think Saddam's statue was probably somewhere in the middle of this square here. So let's go for a ride. That's the Le Meridian, the Hotel Palestine over there. And uh, we jumped in a car, and so we're on our way. We're headed to the Al Adamiya neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. So we've been stuck in traffic here. But I think if we go this way, we'll get there. All right, so uh, yeah, I was just dropped off here. We're about 30 minutes walking from the mosque because this bridge was closed. Uh, you know, I think they're doing like military stuff here, so that's crazy. But yeah, I think this is the river here. I'm gonna turn it off now. I think we've made it clear of the military exercises. Uh, this whole street is still closed. But I think if we go in this direction for a little while, we will get to uh, Adamiya, where there is the Abu Hanifa Mosque. I guess uh, nobody said anything would be straightforward here in Baghdad. Uh, I think things are truly getting better, but wow. So I basically got dropped off in the middle of nowhere in Baghdad, and now um, I'm finding my way to where I need to go. But hey, that's what you sign up for when you come to uh, Iraq. Traffic has resumed on this street. We walked probably about 15 minutes down this road and uh, now it seems like back to business as usual. I could get a cab, but I think I'm just gonna walk because we just need to go that way for uh, about another 15 minutes or so. You can see over there, the little teapots over there, that was built by Saddam Hussein. So, Saddam, was actually interested in beautifying his city. And so you get a lot of monuments like this. There's a magic carpet in front of the Hotel Palestine as well. And you get a lot of these little things here uh, that are holdovers from that period of time. See the Iraqi flag there. So I do believe we need to go that way. We're just gonna cross the road here. Yeah, just like that over the flowers you see the, the teapots here there's water so it does flow but it's not flowing at the moment we need to go this way so we need to cross the road again you can see there's a pathway here so i guess we'll just take the pathway right like you know so here we go I think this road will be pretty challenging. Just need to wait for a little break into the, uh, the action here. I see a break right here. This guy's gonna go. This guy's gonna go. Here's a break right here. Uh, easy enough, right? So that's it. And uh, the sidewalk is this way little teapot over there, the Iraqi flag over there. So we're just gonna go this way. We have made it to Abu Hanifa, which in my humble opinion is one of the greatest mosques that I've ever seen. Doesn't really look like it from the outside, but from the inside, it's amazing. Last time I was here, I came from that direction. So today we're coming from this direction. And uh, it's pretty crazy how uh, uh, 
the contrast, right? Because over here is very, um, is very nice. Hey, how are you? Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I go Abu Hanifa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see you. Yeah, no, nice people, right? So, over here is more of a very commercial district. Over here, over there is more, uh, more industrial. Uh, you know, like car shops and things like that. And this is the Abu Hanifa Mosque. You can tell they're doing work here at Abu Hanifa Mosque. I think it's gonna look pretty nice. Hello. This is one of the uh, more important sites in all of uh, Sunni Islam, actually. It is where the Abu Hanifa is buried. I'm gonna take off my shoes. We'll go with number 17. Wow, and here we are. I love the craftsmanship here. It's a place that never changes. You can come here a hundred years later, 200 years later, 300 years later, it's still gonna be the same. This is the main sanctuary. And I'm still mesmerized. The level of detail and sophistication that goes into carving out ceilings like this. Think about it. Take a look at the doors here. And the ceilings. This is Abu, Abu Hanifa here. Again, look at the detail. This is a very, very special and remarkable place in all the world. I don't know anywhere else that has the detail and the craftsmanship like this. Again, simply amazing.